hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have a huge costco stock up haul for you um it's been a while since i've been to costco and so i decided to go ahead and make a trip and get a ton of meat and frozen vegetables and some other things to sort of um get my freezers restocked a few pantry items and um, some fresh fruit and veggies so i'm gonna go ahead show you guys what i got so that this video is not super long all right so the first thing that i picked up is a pack of this organic ground beef i really really like costco's ground beef i prefer to get the organic grass-fed ground beef from aldi but as i told you guys in the previous haul that i uploaded from aldi um i ordered quite a bit of meat and i sent my husband to pick it up and literally half of my order they did not bring out to him i didn't <laughs> i didn't figure this out until he had already come home and he didn't know how much was supposed to be in the order so i just assumed they gave it all to him because they usually do but they did not so but i did get this and i actually got three of these five pound i think these are five pound um yeah three of these five pound bags of the frozen 100 grass-fed patties i absolutely love having these on hand during the warmer months because we actually do a lot of grilling outside and we are definitely coming upon warmer weather to be able to do that it was 81 degrees today guys i picked up two packages of drumsticks from costco because this is my husband's favorite cut of chicken and this, these are actually a really good price at Costco for the organic drumsticks. They are $1.99 per pound. And I normally would get like a small package of these from Sprouts, just, you know, if I, you know, if just for convenience sake, if I'm already picking up an order from Sprouts, but these are literally half the price per pound at Costco. So I picked up two of those to stock up my freezer and we were out of chicken breast. So I went ahead and got a pack of chicken, organic chicken breast from Costco. Um, these are actually $5.99 a pound, cheaper than Aldi. So the next thing that I picked up is a package of these 100% grass-fed Tetons Polish sausages. This is my absolute favorite beef sausage, guys. The ingredients are really clean. And I would have gotten two packs, but they're a little bit pricey. So I went ahead and just got one because they actually are cheaper um, per pack. There's like three three packs of four in here. They're actually cheaper um, buying them from Costco than they are buying them from Sprouts. Unless I have like a $15 or a $10 off coupon, then maybe I'll probably get them there. You know, also if they're on sale. They go on sale at Sprouts sometimes for about $4.99, maybe a little bit less per package. And then maybe I would get them there, but just regular price. Costco is going to be the best deal. All right, I got two bags of these organic frozen blueberries. These are going to be for smoothies. I picked up two packages of the of this Don Pablo coffee. This is mine and my husband's favorite coffee um, from Costco. I picked up this new coffee that we've never tried, and this is if I can get it. This is the Mayorga coffee, and this is a specialty grade whole bean coffee. It is Cafe Cubana Roast. This is a dark roast coffee. It is organic, and it was actually on sale about 40 cents cheaper than my Don Pablo. So I decided I would go ahead and get that since my husband is a coffee connoisseur um, and just let him try it. I'll probably try it too, but I thought he would really enjoy that. All right, I got two packages of, two bags of these organic dark sweet cherries. We absolutely love putting these in our smoothies and we literally just ran out last night. All right, I got a bag of these dry roasted almonds and these only have almonds and sea salt in them. They, the last time I bought these from Costco, they were actually on sale for $6.99. Today, they were full price at $9.99 but even at that price um for the size bag that you get these are two and a half pounds that's a really good deal so i decided to go ahead and get one of those 
um, for my husband and I to have since we are trying to still eat a little bit low carb. There's going to be a video kind of explaining how we have adjusted our eating um, just to kind of be a little bit more budget conscious. But we have kind of adjusted our eating a little bit um, from just fully eating low carb and we've um, incorporated some intermittent fasting. So I'll be doing a video on that and explaining how we're eating in the near future. But let's continue with the haul. All right, I got a bag of these organic strawberries, also for smoothies. I got a bag of these organic mangoes for smoothies. And we actually just ran out of organic mango last night as well. The kids have really been enjoying eating this. And it's because my blender just recently broke and we haven't been able to make smoothies. So I'm currently in the market for a new blender. I'm actually looking around and trying to find one. So I figured I would go ahead and get all these bags of fruit so that we would have them stocked up so that when my blender comes or whenever I go and pick one up, I can just go ahead and make us some smoothies. All right, I got a bag of organic green beans. We were completely out of those. I got the kids some of these made good granola minis. We have not had these in a while. I think a couple of times I did pick up the, the actual bars from Kroger when they were on sale. Um, but we haven't had these little uh, pouches, these little mini pouches in quite a while. So I went ahead and picked these up for the kiddos. I picked up some of these organic fire roasted red peppers. I absolutely love putting these in soups and chilies. Haven't had these in a while. I got two bags of these avocados and guys these are the best price at Costco right now I don't know if somewhere may have them cheaper I don't know about it if you guys know where I can buy these for cheaper uh, than I did get at Costco let me know but these were actually I believe $4.69 for a six pack and these are actually a really decent size these are not the super teeny ones that you would get for 50 cents all right, I picked up a six pack of these Lindsay's olives. And these are actually my favorite black olive to purchase because it's only olives, water, and salt. So I got that. I probably should have gotten two of these because this is a really good low carb snack, but I only picked up one. I picked up some two packs of strawberries. Guys, I really, really wanted to get the organic strawberries, but um, the organic strawberries looked horrible and my Costco they they were moldy they were like just kind of dark and washed out they just didn't look good they were small and they, they just weren't large and, and kind of plump and juicy looking like these do um, so I just went ahead and opted to buy these because these were literally half the price of the organic ones yeah the organic ones were like 10 bucks for a two pound um, pack these were about five dollars and $5.49, I think, for two pounds. And so I just picked up two of these because my oldest son's birthday is tomorrow and we're gonna be celebrating with, um, I'm gonna make a fruit tray for him for that. Um, I also got some grapes because he absolutely loves grapes. Grapes are actually his favorite fruit. So I got two different kinds of grapes um, for the fruit platter. I got these, these were just called candy hearts. I've never had these before, so I'm curious to know what they taste like. Hopefully by the time I upload this video, I'll let you guys know what we thought. But if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think in the comments. And I also picked up these seedless, these red seedless table grapes. All right, I picked up some more of our favorite organic flour tortillas just to have on hand for burritos, quesadillas, tacos, whatever. I picked up some of this, some of our favorite uh, organic salsa. This is the Jack's Cantina Salsa. It is medium. Um, it's not super spicy, but it's, it's got a little kick to it. It's clean ingredients and it tastes absolutely amazing. I picked up some more of this Paisano organic pasta sauce because the ingredients are absolutely great. There is no sugar added in this pasta sauce and it was not necessarily cheaper per ounce than the Rayos, but I didn't really want to spend $12 on the Rayos pasta sauce today. So I just went ahead and got this just to kind of um, add a little bit more stock to my pantry because I have used a few of the ones that we already have to make some pasta recently. All right, I picked up a two pack of this organic peanut butter. Um, I really love the ingredients in that. I also picked up some of these organic sun-made raisins. 
because I plan on making some granola bars. I've actually posted a recipe of how I make these. I'll probably try and put that in the cards or in the description so you guys can go check that out if you're interested. But I also went to Walmart and I picked up some of this organic bone broth. Now I'm still gonna make my own bone broth with my beef bones that I got from Azure, but I just have not had the time to do it yet, guys. So I just went ahead and got four of these beef bone broths, and then I got three of the organic chicken bone broth. All right, this next thing that I picked up is this organic maple syrup. This we have not had in the house in a while. We ran out, I think about a week or so ago, and I was super excited to go ahead and stock up and get two more of these. All right, I got another bottle of this Nona Pia's or Nana Pia's balsamic glaze. This stuff is absolutely delicious on meatballs, chicken, um, beef, pretty much any kind of meat. I haven't really tried it on fish, but this is delicious. It's absolutely delicious on like meatballs and things like that. So I just wanted to have one of those in my pantry. I have some left in one bottle, but it's not a full bottle. And this was actually on sale. So I decided to go ahead and pick another one up. All right, I got two of these uh, natural sunflower butters. Um, I, I would like to actually have this in the organic variety and a variety that doesn't have any sugar in it, but this was the best that I could find at Walmart. And we don't eat this too super often, but if I'm making granola bars, homemade i would like for my son to be able to eat them and since he has a peanut allergy this is what i will be using to make them or if i decide to make some sort of mock peanut butter cookies i would use this instead of peanut butter so that he could actually have them as well all right and i desperately needed some um, dry thyme i'm actually growing some in my garden this year i'm hoping it does really really well but I am pretty low on time. I did get a little small bottle um, from Walmart a couple weeks ago because I thought I was going to be able to order some of this from um, Azure. But the last few times I've tried to order it from Azure, they have been out by the time my order was going to ship. So I just went ahead and picked up two of these containers of dried thyme because this is actually one of my absolute favorite herbs to cook with. All right, I also picked up two packages of this organic mixed squash. It was a pretty good deal this time. It was actually a little bit cheaper than it usually is, but my husband absolutely loves squash and so do I. The kids are not super crazy about it, but between my husband and I, this will actually be gone pretty quickly before it goes bad. And the last few things that I picked up from Costco is this 18 pack count of Topo Chico. If you, you guys have probably seen this in some earlier Costco hauls that, um, and I think you've also probably seen this in a Walmart haul or something like that recently. But this is my absolute favorite mineral water. I got this pack to hopefully last me for a while because as it starts to heat up outside, this is going to be my favorite go-to drink. And I actually can just drink this by itself as long as it's cold. It is extremely delicious and refreshing. And then I just picked up two packs of this bottled water because we were down to our last pack. Um, we did we did need to pick up some toilet paper, but I totally forgot, so we'll have to go back for that. I also picked up this huge bag of potting soil. It was $10.89 for 50 quarts. They had an in-ground soil bag also, same size, for $7.79. But that is everything that I picked up this Costco trip. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them in the box below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.